What's going on? This is uh, RV Max. We've got a 2000 Marathon bus behind us. It's an H345. That's mine, Shaw. Yep. This is my dad, Sachin. We're in Greenville, South Carolina. And um, it's funny because we've both got about, I was, we've both got about 20 years of RV experience. He was a little more conscious in the first couple of years. I was he was little... three years old. So he's 23. He's 20 years. Is, he was a baby. You know? Yes. <laughs> but some of my first memories were in buses. And yeah. um, look, we're dealers that love to go camp. You might see us out there. We love, in fact, we're thinking about a rally sometime soon with some of our old customers, but um, more on that later. But yeah, so these coaches are, are absolutely amazing, but. You know, some of the things you want to look for in <clears throat> any coach um, is something that has been used recently. It hasn't been sat around because we've bought Garage Queen coaches with you only a, a handful of, of miles on it. Prevo buses, the same age with like 20,000 miles and beautiful coaches, perfect cosmetically. But underneath, we've had to dump a bunch of money. Yep. And None of them are perfect, especially when you're looking at a bus. I mean, these 23 years old. What it's are about marathons? as old as you are. It is, yeah. What, yeah. what are marathons do? They're a couple million? Uh, probably back in the 2000s, this was probably one and a half. Or new, but they're over two and a half and million now. And that's $2,000, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, by inflation, that is about two million. So you're then. buying a 200 grand, a uh, uh, one and a half million, two million dollar bus for 180 for two, grand. 200 190 grand. grand, yeah. Yeah, 100. 200. Oh, you're going to have to cut that. 200 grand. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, this coach, you know, some of the biggest things that personally I think are a big pro on a, this particular coach are, um, first of all, it's a one of a kind paint job. You get that on a lot of Prevo buses. Um, this was done by John Starr, but the colors yeah. are just timeless. Yeah. It's, it's not timeless. like it looks neon green and purple. Nope. It's got this beautiful paint job. It, when I camped in it down in Florida and this is Florida, the RV capital of, of the, the world United States. Yeah. of the world that's right yep you know it would not stop breaking necks everywhere i went i mean because it's just so gorgeous like a coffee caramel mocha so um, we're in daytona 500 and the guy pulled next to us and tipping some brand new tipping diesel bus and he goes what is that 2021 <laughs> i said no it ain't it's 2000 it could definitely but so that's one of the big things and another thing is this was owned by someone who had um, a ton of RV experience. The first time we got this, we know who had it. A couple of marathons, that's what he owned. This was not his, it wasn't even his first bus. This wasn't even his first marathon bus. Um, so, yeah. you know, a lot of things that I think it's got accessibility to all the components, like the access to the generator radiator. Oh, man, it just slides out. That? God, it's better than some other Prevo. But even, it like is, that. but even the radiator, normally you got to crawl up underneath to get to the radiator. This bus is right there. It just slides right out. But, um, yeah, so that's a big thing. Not a garage queen. It's not cosmetically perfect. So if you're one of those people who is expecting a $2 million bus for 200 grand, um, you might yeah. want to go find someone who's selling it's you got, some, well, it's got some batteries. champagne, but secretly in the background, they're pouring beer in it. So that we're not going to do that. We're going to give got, it to you the good, bad, and ugly. He's got good newer at tires. we got new tires. Upgrade. we got new yeah. batteries. He just serviced it. I saw the air filter change like 21 or 22 really yeah those he are just he just did it last year yeah so yeah so he came back from minnesota from uncle mario uncle mario that's right <laughs> him and they, they, they're pretty much brothers so anyways i'm gonna let my dad who's got a ton of experience and you know sometimes i forget he speak three languages hey but Maybe on prevo just, bus on prevo bus i gotta call him <laughs> we gotta call each other on stuff but anyways maybe you could do it in gujarati i wonder how many people in india would enjoy this oh man yeah i don't know we gotta stick with the southern english have fun <laughs> all right since mine is gone, let's start talking about this coach from our usual spot in the front. Four of those windshield looks really good. I think may have a that's a maybe it's a bird crap up there. Got a little star crack here. Other than that, this driver side windshield looks nice. Uh, front of the coach looks good. It's got a few little road rock chips. I mean, few means you know maybe a few dozens or hundred of them little. Uh, nothing bad. Nothing bad. That could be come off. Looks like a 3M. I mean, a, a duct tape was there or something. By the way, these headlights are very, very bright. Uh, very bright LED lights. That's a nice upgrade. Wow, mirror looks so nice. No oxidation. And uh, maybe same on the other side. Let me go and check it out. Yep, no oxidation on them. Man, nice mirrors. Uh, Nice double pan window, no fog on it. Toll window electrically goes up and down. 
the first compartment here, we have all the chassis components, all the relays and fuses and all that cetera stuff. Your air, you can hook up air chuck here and get all the air that you need. Got a nice, uh, oh, I got a little boo-boo right here. Yeah, little little something going on here and a little crack. I mean, you know, it is a 2000 model, 23 years old, like mine was talking about. So, hey, we can talk about uh, some flaws all day long. Um, beautiful. It's a beautiful color. We got a 365, 70, 22 and a half upgraded tires. I think they're 2020. Um, let's see. I've got a date code on the other side. Uh, please look at my pictures. They're, they're, they're new tires. No worries on tires. Knee deep trade. They're probably at the most two years old or three years old when we got it last year. Uh, this door's are locked, I think. That one is locked. That's the other side of the generator. These are window covers, yep. All kinds of window covers. <coughs> you inverter disconnect switches, yep. Cutoff switches, inverter cutoff switches, yep. Beautiful paint scheme, look at that. Like a big red, we had another marathon XL coach. Got slight little scrub right there on the bottom. More stuff in here. Whole bunch of belts, dry belts. That's really good to get on the road. On the road again. All right. I love the way they open up sideways. I couldn't open this. Let me try it one more time. Yep, it was open. It, I just didn't open it hard enough. That is your radiator cooling fan. This is your cruise air right here. New battery there for your generator. So we did open this. Yep. Let me just, there we go. Shut. Over here we have your typical wet bay. So we got sewer discharge on both sides. That's you off and on for your power cord reel. If that is off, your power cord would not work. Uh, you got a water manifold up on top. A 50 amp cutoff right here before you plug it up. All that good jazz. Yep, those are the water manifold so if you have a water leak in a certain area like shower or washer you can turn that off and you can still camp outside shower really nice you know this coach has got like maybe one or two cracks and that's typical from you know being slammed i see one two here this one don't have it this one don't have it this one don't have it so it's you know i'm just nitpicking it some stuff so one door has it this door don't have it Power cord reel here, it's not locked, so you know it just comes in and out electrically. This opens up, you got some more chassis component. Talking about, look at this door's got a little fiberglass damage on the side and on the bottom. I mean, this is, I'm um, nitpicking it here, but look at overall, the body's in really good shape. So it is a single slide coach in the front. We have a slide on this video, it's closed right now. We'll open that up. Love hearing those airplane sound. <laughs> Got F-16 being built right around the corner from us, literally. All right, let's open the 8-16 of 2022. So like less than three, four months ago, or five months ago, air filter was changed. Uh, previous owner had it serviced. Actually, we sold this coach once and it came back again. All right, this is a legendary Prevost, uh let me walk over here and read. It should be 12 liter. Yep, 12.7. 12.7 liter Prevo Detroit Series 60 engine. It's just a legendary engine. You got the big, uh, um, what do you call the air conditioner? Over the road air.
come around the sides. We saw this. It's your uh, hydraulic solenoids and stuff. I can't get over the paint skim. It's just beautiful. It doesn't look like a 2000 model. Michelin tires. It's got 365 upgraded tires, upgraded wheels. Um, a little bit of a paint imperfection here, if you would call that. Okay. Again, just pointing little stuff out. We got a nice garage awning. We'll open that awning up in just a little bit here. Big Mach 3 grown, uh, whatever, that's it's the same big pump, um, water pump, air tank, little access for, yeah, it's access for anything goes wrong about water and stuff. It's got a gravity field there. Huh? Great, great, great noticing little stuff like that. Thank you. That is a cruise air over the road. Air. That's another fuel fill. Absolutely right. All right. Let's go around. So we'll have a Craftsman tool. Hey, how about that? Yep. And I think it even has a table that comes out here. Take that liver off and the table will slide out. And even this thing slides out right here. Look. Let's see. Thank you. Yeah, the carpet's in there. All right, this, let's see. Locks in here. There you go. Yep. No, it's locked. It's locked that way. No, it doesn't need to be. So much to learn on these coaches. I don't care if you've been around 20 years. When you get a coach and it's yours, then there's a time you get sync with it. You know, then you know a lot more about the coach. We sell many motorhomes, so different motorhomes come in. You got to learn it. All right, and there you go. Little TV that yeah, this would come out too. So now we learn. Uh, like you just flip this over and it comes out. And this TV. Look at that. Like that. It is pretty, pretty neat. There you go. Locked in place. Those you a battery. Voltage meter. Yeah, it tells you what's going on with you all. With your generator. And generator is right next door. So you can keep an eye on your temperature and stuff. And I love the fact Marathon does, like earlier me and mine were talking about it, easy to service. By the way, this thing has a lock, so you can put a lock on them. Let's see. Yeah, just open the latches, and the whole thing would slide out. Got an air hose. If you want to inflate your own tires and stuff, really nice thing to have. All right, so this door has a little crack. The rest of them, I didn't see any. So let's open up an awning and show you the awning. All right, come on in in this beautiful marathon. Look at this, hardwood floors, two sofas across each other. We've got a big, large sofa. So look, if you want to have some tall kids, take my shoes off. I mean, look at here, this way or that way. I mean, really, really tall. It does open up in a jackknife. So you kind of get the message. We also have some drawers under here. This one is not a drawer. This one is drawer. This side, this one also opens up jackknife. So nice sofa. No excessive wear. And we have oh. some material extra still for this? Yes, we do. I think it's just some material for 
the previous owner, when we bought it the first time, the guy sent us some material that goes, man, look at the Alcantara in, uh, ceiling material. Beautiful. Wow. You got a Roku TV. You got a TV behind that's running. You know what I like about this thing? When the slide comes in and out, it gets flush. See right here? It's flush. Okay. Uh, could some paperwork here. Owner's manuals. And a guy we sold it and got it back. He had just everything serviced. New battery. All service done. Oh, this one needs a little bulb or something. Okay, right here. This light works. We've got a nice marathon cups. It's glass, not a plastic. And all the wine glass, the intact. Wow, sometimes you don't see that in a motorhome. You see all this uh, accent lightings. Beautiful. Um, we've got a huge double sink. Wow, that's deep. And even this opens up. Let's see. Like a drying cutting rack. board or something? Drying rack. drying rack. Wow. Really, really nice shape. Let's see. Does it go like that? Gorgeous. Some uh, cabinet spaces. A newer GE Profile convection oven. Is it? I think it's a regular oven. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Got a nice... Uh, you know, in a front, let me, before we go back all the way further, let me show you here. So you got a TV that can lift up and down. So it tucks away in the ceiling, as you can see. Uh, we got our, one of our YouTube TV on right now. It's got a smart TV, Roku TV and an Amazon uh, stick is hooked up. So, you know, with the Amazon stick, you can turn any, any uh, TV into a smart TV. So it is a smart TV now. Well, we've got a cruise air, one of the, there are two cruise airs in the front for the salon area. Also, we have a remote control for the awning and also have one, a handheld for the Gerard awning on outside. All right. I love this accent light there behind the kind of window curtain, if you would call it. This one slide gives a plenty of room, as you can see, and I love the flush floor. Wow. Got a little garbage compactor, I think. Yep. It's an old school. Some people take them out, make a... Over here, we have a uh, Gaganau, whatever, however you pronounce this. A high dollar... Flat surface electric stove. We have a GE. Let's see, this thing has a little lock up here. Is that a household fridge? Yep, sure is. Oh, it's little, off right now. A little cabinet in there, cubby and the here. Absolutely. Yep. So the it's off right now. Refrigerator is off. We got It's just off right now. Well, come on in. We do have a. I think my air uh, auxiliary compressor is off, but it's got a sliding door. Here's your central music system. Wind guard dish up on top. Oh, there's a Phillips remote control. Yeah, just. Oh, he's got a little. Uh, what do you call uh, Velcro on the back? All your remote controls are here. I don't know which ones are still good. We are, we're running everything with that uh, Roku and uh, all the thing covering is all in good shape. Yeah, the laminates are in good shape. They're not peeling off. You, that, that's a great thing you notice. Some of them we've seen older buses. They stop peeling off and stuff. I love the tile. Look at that. It's got a little, uh, what do you call that? Kind of like a sparkle, if you would call that. And the carpet was removed. Got a hardwood floors. Come on in here. So, like I said, the the, the pocket doors they come in and out. I'll probably show you that later. Uh, medicine cabinets. Top of this nice little vanity in the center part of the coach. Come through here. We got a nice 
Let's see, I got a... Nice size shower. I'm talking about really nice size shower. It's not like you're some of those, uh, ga uh, what do you call it? regular diesel pushers. It's got a little bit better room than a normal. I can't believe the interior is in such oh, a great a shape. Mm -hmm. Solid, yep. Very nice. Got a fantastic fan up on top. I like that idea. Not here. It's just right above you. All the lights have been changed to LED lights, as you can see here. And a hamper, yeah, clothes hamper. And you got, you can still do it that way, or it has an electric door, but you can still do manual, okay? So that's what I like about it. Nice uh, ceramic toilet. Wallpaper's in really nice shape, yeah. What do you don't see compared to regular buses? They have water leaks on the floor, uh, on walls and ceiling. This is all metal, you know, fiberglass outside by the metal roof, so no water leaks. Okay, over here, you see just a little gap here. I want to point that out. Not a biggie, but, you know, um, just a little gap. Could be probably filled in. Not a big deal, but I want to point some, you know, imperfections out. we got a Washer and dryer. I think it was a new uh, washer put on by first owner who we bought it from. It was like two thousand dollars or twenty seven hundred dollars. It got a little. You got all your AC breakers are here for both inverters. A little more storage up here. Man, I like this little mirror. How about that? A lighted mirror. You can turn it off. Got another vanity. Small sink, but it'll work. You have another vanity, so you got his and her. Two vanities. Medicine cabinet. Well, we got some stuff in here. Need to be taken off. Queen size bed. Back here, we got this hardwood floors continues. And it's still a good bit of room to walk around. And we got some more storage here. Kind of small camper. Oh, you're talking about this accent lighting, ceiling? Oh, yes. You know, the Alcantara, the exterior, interior is in really good shape for a 2000 model. Got another Roku TV here that's on swivel stand. You can move it around. I know it's a small one. I've seen some people want a big one. They get rid of this. Um, you know, the, 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 the window and put a big TV if you want, one of those things. Uh, this boat light works here. You got another air conditioner back here, uh, your cruise air, and a reset, resettable fuse there, and you got both your remote controls for, um, control for your both inverters. Ceiling fan, and back here, okay, now let me, let me kind of explain here what's going on. You could put regular chest of drawer walk-in closet but the guy we sold it to his son he was letting his son sleep here okay you still have a storage under there okay but it could be easily removed and put something else but uh, you know like have a um you could put back the way it was this is a twin bed this is just yeah like a twin bed yeah yeah uh for a kid if you want it's like a bunk but you could you could just leave it like that and, and they put the walls in too right Yes, it could be removed to the scoop. It's not a big deal. You can remove that. And got a little shelf up here. They actually had a TV here too. They took the TV off. All right, so this will conclude our inside video. Anything I'm missing? I mean, the purpose of video is just showing it to you the condition it's in. I believe it's in way above average condition for a 2000 model Prevo H345. I love the tile, God, the sparkling, sparkling black tile. It's beautiful. Just gorgeous. LED lights upgrades. Um, used but not abused. No tears or any stains. It's in a really nice shape. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit the road and show you how it test drive. And we'll probably show you how this slide 
come in and out. So when it comes in, the whole floor would drop and then the slide would come in. All right. I think anything I'm missing? All right. Let's hit the road. All right. So, hey, the cockpit area, it has a uh, telescopic and uh, it's air. So it can go down and come back up. And we'll get it back right here. It's comfortable for me. All right. So let's start from here. You got a marathon coach. It's part of the backup monitor, which we're going to have a look at it, but it, it, it's, it's a little finicky, okay? But it works. But let's, let's check this out. Uh, screen, marathon coach, house batteries, a 27 volt, 12 volts, a 13.8. They doing okay. Holding tanks are all empty right now. You just push button and change the shore inverter, 123 volt. We have inverters on right now because we are unplugged, ready to go. Test drive. Generator is off. Temperature outside 60. Water base 70. So it shows you everything here. Here's all the marathons toll free number, their um, email address. The coach number is 0643. It tells you all that. Pretty cool. All right. Here's what's going on with the backup miner. No input signal. We'll have it look, but we're trying to sell it like it is. We are selling it for someone that wants to move it fast. You can figure that out. It's audio video problem, all right? And I'll put it in reverse. It goes back. And you put in drive. It's ready to drive. All right, but so that was that. I'm sorry. There's all, um, let me just put my emergency brake. It's still on. So we've got a air condition. This one has a uh, over-the-road cruise air. Below here, here's a big, this is a $55,000 Add now from Prevo. You have over the road air. That's the digital display on the right hand side. It's about 155,000 BTU. Let me repeat 150 some thousand BTU of heating and about 120,000 20, BTU of air conditioning because it was made to cool 47 or 53 passenger back there. So you got the front, I mean, the regular AC and over the road AC. These are all your windows. Uh, what do you call the shades they are on the front all of them are here come over to this side by the way it's got 223,000 miles uh previous owner we bought it from it was it was his second or third marathon and then we sold it to another guy and he's changing his lifestyle so that's why we're selling it for him all right he did headlights all that right here uh here's another great feature you got an engine brake one and two stage of engine brake and a retarder which is a six stage retarders all right that's unusual too that's another great uh ad so you got a engine brake manual and then retarders this is your fast start mirror heat your docking lights all that stuff's here we've got a toll window six speed 4000 mh uh allison automatic transmission cruise control works you can also control all your air conditions from here. You got, um, uh, I think there's a button here for auxiliary air, uh, accessory air compressor. Um, over here, we got an HWH air leveling. You just hit button and it levels itself. The emergency uh, release, the brake, and a tag axle dump. And that's your level meter. I think it's, it's, it's a whole bunch of stuff to go. You got a power mirrors, but... Let's hit the road. I mean, that's a lot of detail. I can go on and on and on. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to hit the road. The first words come out of my mouth at the stop sign. Coming out of a dealership, turning right, I said, oh, my God, how nice these buses drive. I mean, look, most of our business, we sell, you know, Allegro's and American Coach and New Mars and all that. Nothing wrong with them. We camp in them. But, man, when you get behind Prevost steering wheel, it's just... It's just uh, undescribable. You got to own one. I mean, I'm talking about trying to explain someone how banana tastes. You have to taste it. Oh, like I like to tell, there are folks out there might not never have tasted the mango. So, so it's a fruit mango. Okay, this is a Prevo bus. It's I'm just on a back road here near our dealership. Just God, I don't care. It's a 23 year old bus. Uh, I think we we're down in West Palm Beach with our daughter and her boyfriend and. And before that, mine and Kaya, they used it. First time picked it up. 
And now we sold it and it's back again. Tell you what, is it perfect? No, it is not. Got a few stuff like backup miner that I just mentioned. It could be fixed. We'll have someone look at it, but we may just sell it like it is. Audio video guys can look at it. Not a big deal. But marathon, look at that nice light. So monitor is good. It's just something going on with a camera back there. All right. It runs so nice. Look at this curve. I'm coming up to it. Just it's like a big sports car. It just smooth. Hey, we'll pass in our RV dealership, will you? Well, honk at Mayan. He's out there. He just took our video getting out. <laughs> I love horns. So we're just gonna do a little short test drive. Bill Bracken, I one of our friend, he 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 went up to uh, Minnesota, Minneapolis, and drove it back in January. So drove excellent. We've driven it to West Palm Beach and back. Runs really good. You got this six speed, I mean six stage retarder, as I just explained a little bit a little while ago. Look at here. I mean, I'm going down the hill. It's just stopping me. It's, it's crazy. I'm on a really high stage. Um, let's try a little cruise out here. Cruise has engaged at like 45 miles an hour. Man, I mean, what else do you want? Coach got good tires, good batteries, just been serviced. Mechanically, this thing is strong. Look, I might have to slow it down here. Okay, <laughs> cruise works, all the signals works. It's got upgraded headlights. They are really bright, bright headlights. Um, all the uh, electric shades work up and down. So it's got a lot of good stuff going on here. Um, so uh, to end this video, give us a call. We like text communication better, 864-404. 0054 or my and 864-376-5600. It'll be on your screen too. Uh, we'd like to mention that you cannot finance this bus. So unless you have a private financer or your credit union or USAA would finance you this bus, we cannot help you finance this bus. It has to be a cash deal or you get a line of credit on your home or something you just got to have a hard cash or your own financing i just want to tell you that anything over 2003 that's what's going to happen anything over 20 years or older financing out of the question so uh uh just want to throw that out but we do take trades so all in all i would say the price we are asking for this motorhome i believe it's a best bang on your buck you can make on this this is a great deal um Beautiful bus, you know, Cube Cosmetic Claws is 2023 20, now and it's 2000, but runs great, drives great. Uh, no pulling right or left, just beautiful driving machine. You know why? Because it's a stainless steel monocot body or chassis. So the integrity, the solid bus here. All right, uh, phone numbers are there. Uh, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that bell button so it'll notify you when we'll put the next video up. We really thank you for subscribing to our channel. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you. Have a great day.